guys welcome back to enigma 77 reviews so I'm, I'm trying to figure out if i actually suit this and my husband just keeps laughing at me and saying no it don't suit you it's too big maybe it is too big and i would probably would suit a little one but i'm 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 a bit curious if it's have it done i'm not right good with like nose piercings i was terrible when it came to this but yeah, I, I've got loads of these. Sometimes I get the urge to want to have it done and then my husband said, just stick that in and the urge will go away. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, today I'm going to do, um, well, I'll say a review because I've had these boots for quite a while. Ah, guys, I need to take these out of my hair because they're actually digging in my head and it's hurting. Ow. Right, that was all right. So I've had these boots for some years. I can't really recall how many years. As long as I've met my husband, my husband actually bought me, so probably like nine years or something. Now, I am finding it very, very hard to find the code. And if any of you know how to or where to find it, pop a comment down below because I don't know. So, guys, these are my, I think they were the High Boots Original New Rocks. They're very, very heavy. And um, as you can see, I've lost my my badge of both. And I was trying to see if I could find, because I think that's what had the name or the serial number on, but I can't find it. So I'm not too sure the number, because all our new rocks come with numbers and serial numbers. And, and I searched the whole bloody boot, even to the bottom of the boot, I have searched and, and I've had a look here and I can't find them, but never mind so guys these are my new rock boots i have had lots of new rock boots in my time and i've got rid of them i i kind of liked the big bulky uh, kind of calf boots i had purple i had silver cobweb ones and i had some lady cobweb ones which were like stiletto heel they're very very pointed toe i'm not a big fan of pointed toe shoes i will be completely honest i don't really own any i prefer the like dolly kind of shoes um like the tuck baby doll kind of shoes um dead bulky here and like criss cr crossover here and massive heel so i've had all kinds of shoes and i still have all kinds of shoes everybody's been asking me to do like um do a, a video of my collection of shoes but guys it would take me forever and I'm, I don't want to come across as bragging that I've got lots of shoes because a lot of my shoes have cost a fortune but I've had them for either Christmas or my birthday I don't just go out and buy a pair of shoes at that expense because it's impossible to do these were a gift of my husband and they were very expensive um, but with that said I wanted them, I liked them, and they were different. And I think because these are ladies ones and they looked very like masculine, the ones I had before, which you know is fine, but I wanted some that was quite ladyfied. And I know the first time he got me the pointed ones, he thought I, that's what I was on about. And I was like, no, I don't really like them. And I wore them once and they killed my feet. So then he sold them and put the money towards getting these. So along came these. Now these have got five buckles, one two three four five and the other problem with these are they're a bit of a pain in the ass to get on now as you can see if you turn them over the zip is inside the buckles so they're not the easiest to get on and get off and when you've been out and you're absolutely blotted they're a nightmare to get off and nine times out of ten my husband has to take them off my feet I have been very, very poorly on a night out before when we went to watch a gig and I passed out outside. I still don't remember how or why or what. I think it was tequila. And um, I was carried into a taxi home and then I had to have these surgically removed off my feet by my best friend and my husband. So and I woke up next morning and my best friend was on the sofa with me um, and my husband was on the floor. And it was like, what's going on? He said, you've been spewing up all night. <laughs> so, yeah, I got these boots a while ago and they are extremely hard wearing. They have got some scuff from wear and tear, as you can see, and I've lost the badges. Um, but they last forever. And I mean, I probably still have these in another 20 years time, guys. And that's the God's honest truth. Um, if anybody does know, it just says New Rock Originals. So, and I knew that they were the 
metallic highs i think they were called so if anybody can figure out the serial number for these i'd appreciate it if you could um, message me and give it me because i can't remember and um i'm going to show you the whole rigmarole that i've got to go through to get them on and off so you've got to unbuckle them you can tighten them um I've not got the smallest of calves and I've got scar tissue from um, blood clots, DVTs, so I have quite a lot of swelling in the back of my calf. So sometimes um, certain boots that I have got, I can't get on and I can't zip up at the back. My demonias are brand new in the box, guys, and I can't wear them. It's a bit of a, a pain in the ass. Oh, guys, two minutes. I've just got to be back in a minute. Two minutes, guys. Sorry about that guys, I had to just quickly go and do something while it was like, oh god, I've got to do that quickly. So, yeah, so as you can see, once you've done all the buckles, and I still haven't done the bottom one, because I had to just rush off quickly, you're faced with like what we'd call just like normal laced up boots. Now, as you can see, I have had a few issues zipping, like lacing them up to the top. I did at first, I was alright doing it. But obviously, again, like I said, scar tissue has made my my calves slightly bigger than they should be. I mean, they probably fit me a lot better now. The last time I wore these was when I went to see Evil Scarecrow, when I did Battle of the Masses in Wolverhampton to support like the bands that I was supporting, basically. And to watch all the other bands, because everybody was absolutely um, epic and awesome. So, But then I went to see Evil Scarecrow at the same time, and I was like... Yeah, loved it, absolutely loved it. So I actually wore these with, I think I had normal black tights, I didn't wear my fishnets. I wore my normal thick opaque tights, I wore my leather skirt and I wore a black netted top and I wore a black leather jacket and I just kind of looked really cool. So yeah, but I got these off that night because my husband got very, very poorly near to the end of the night and we couldn't continue the night in our normal goth club. So we had to come home, unfortunately, and I was I was a bit sulking. So, yeah. Anyway, they zip all the way down. All the way down. I just thought then, I'm sure they go further down than that. And then... You've got plenty of room to get in them and you, the tongue is massive. I've even had a look down at the bottom and all it says is new rock made with genuine leather. So the soles are genuine leather and obviously this part is all genuine leather. But again, you think that they'd have a serial number somewhere, but I don't know if over the years it's just worn off, which is a shame really. So yeah, so basically once you've got them on, you just zip them up. Right, I'm not going to do that one now, but here's one I did earlier. <laughs> so, as you can see, they are very hard wearing. These, like, I think it's proper steel. Um, and then, obviously, the heels kind of screwed down as well. Now, I've just been on um, New Rock website trying to see if I could find these boots somewhere along there and i think i've got 25 pages in on one section and 30 pages on the other and i just thought i'm going to be here till nine o'clock tonight trying to find these boots and i'm starting to get stressed out so i left it but as we were looking i was bookmarking absolutely lots of shoes at the price mark of two to three hundred pound euro i should say so it's a little bit cheaper not that much cheaper in the um sterling but I was like, oh, I like them, I want them, oh, I like them, I want them. And I've already marked off a pair of demonias that I want, that um, Jules has got. And that she she wore them in a video and I was like, I, I like them. <laughs> so I've like sent to my husband, um, I want them for my birthday. And they were £95. They're a lot cheaper demonia than New Rocks, I will say that. But I think New Rocks are a lot more hard wearing than demonia and i think a lot of people will agree with me that these can last up to 20 years now what i did find was you can actually buy replacement um heels not so much this part obviously that's the the sole of the shoe but you can see it take absolute years and i don't wear these that often because they're quite heavy and i do have um a, a back disability and i do have chronomalacia in my knee so i've got to be careful when it comes to like weight on my feet and so forth but these are quite sturdy around my ankles so i feel secure in these i never fall over in these the only time i've ever fall over in these is when i've been absolutely blotted and that's just around alcohol but um i've never actually like 
crook old in them or anything like that and I have in my iron fist shoes and my demonia shoes ugh, a lot but these I haven't and I never I never will because the salt goddamn stirred it I wish I, I knew where this was so I could put it back on or maybe take these to um to be fixed I mean there's nothing wrong with them they just lost the badge so that's probably one of the reasons I don't know what it is but yeah it's proper hard wearing and if this wears down you can unscrew it and get another one I can't remember how much they were but while I was sketching through all these amazing shoes they had bags dangerous place to go on his new, his new rock website I've never actually been on it properly like that and they had bags at three and four hundred pound euro and they had like bracelets like 1500 euro I was like what uh no I don't think so even if I won the lottery I don't think I would waste that kind of money on something like that that I could live without that's the way I look at things but I don't think I could ever live without these and I am due some new booties i know i've got my demonias that i can't wear and i've got my doc martins that i do wear every now and again i just don't go out enough places to wear these when i go into such places like town to do a bit of shopping and so forth i do have to wear like sensible comfortable shoes and i do wear my kill style high tops or i wear my converse um every now and again i will wear my doc martin shoes or my boots but I don't think I would personally go out into town to do my shopping in these. These are like my best wear when I'm going to a gig or a concert or a, if I ever go to a festival, a festival. Or like my local goth club, pub, bars. So yeah, that's these guys. And like I said, if you ever wanted a pair of new rock boots and you was wondering about like, mm, they didn't rub my feet that much either. When I compare like comfort to these, to the Doc Martins, the Doc Martins were hell. And I mean hell, and I, we all know that they can last for years as well. But um, these 10 times over were so comfortable. I never, slightly, they, they were digging in here, only slightly, but I could cope with that by putting like a, a Healy kind of thing, Healy pad on there. Um, I just love them, I absolutely love them. And as you can see, not that bad for um scuffed i have looked after these considering the length of time i've had them you can see they were i kind of walk like a duck so i my back of my heels do rub against the other shoe and i have found that a lot of my shoes seem to damage more here than anywhere else um but once you give them a good polish they come up extremely i mean i only polish my boots with the proper brush polish none of this spray polish the good old fashioned um, black polish boot stuff uh, and they come up like a tree but as you can see I could get away with not even doing anything to them because they just look absolutely epic I love them absolutely love them so guys please tell me what are these called because it'll do my head in forever more um, I am going to do a try on so you can have a look and see um, they have been in all kinds of weathers as well <laughs> as well as well guys so when you buy shoes and you show off well you don't show off but you, you reveal the kind of shoes you've got and then you like you'll say that they've tried them on they're real comfy but you don't know how they are how they fare because you've not worn them for over a time like i could grab lots of my boots and go well i've had these for seven years and i've been wearing them for four years out of that seven and as you can see they're definitely worth the money uh, it depends what you do in your boots. I mean, I have gone out in the snow in them, like literally out in the snow with my kids. We've gone sledging and I've had them on. I will say one thing. I have been really silly in my new rocks over the years and kids don't do this. This is not for kids, but if any, like, if you were sat with your mum and dad and you were listening to this, don't do it. I went ice skating in my new rocks on a frozen pond near where I used to live and it's so stupid it, it wasn't thick but you know it's hypothermia it was absolutely freezing that night me and my friends all got absolutely blotted at a house party and we we just all went and went for a walk just to try and I don't know sober up or something we'll just go for a walk a little adventure and we went ice skating on the pond and I went in them and I don't think it was recommended even though there were good grips I did go skinny on my ass a fair few times 
But I'd say that they're good for all weathers. They are definitely weather worthy, that's for sure. And they are genuine leather, so you do know that you're getting hard wearing like some shoes. Like for example, I bought these eBay shoes, which were $22.99. I have already sliced my finger open on um, this part here where your lace comes, the inside. As I was pulling, it caught my finger and ripped it. And I was like, oh my God, that's really sore. What was that? And my husband looked and he said, Jesus Christ, it's all, it was literally all stuck up. It was very, very sharp. My husband's like got the pliers and put it back down. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna message him and just say, you know, you should check your shoes before you send them out because that could have been easily a child's finger or something. Or Zach could have picked it up and cut his fingers on it. So I will come back and do a review on them when I actually wear them properly. I've worn them a couple of times, but not that much. But these guys, I can absolutely hand on heart say, if you wanted to go and buy a pair of new rocks, these ones in particular have been extremely hard wearing. The only downside of these boots are you have to unbuckle them all to get them off. And then obviously you've got to zip them up and buckle them all up to get them on. So that's the only downside to these boots. I didn't really think about that at the time. They just look absolutely amazing and I wanted them and I got them and I'm so glad I did. And hopefully in another 10 years, maybe I'll come back in 10 years and do a 10 year review on if they're still with me, if they still exist. Cause I won't sell these guys. I will wear them to the death. And when that day comes, I will come back and I will discuss about it and talk about it. So let's go and try them on. I'll show you what they look like on Monster Boots and um, pop your comments on below. Tell me if you ever had a pair of these. Let's see what new rocks you've got. And um, I can honestly, honestly say that I do recommend new rocks. I absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. I see like a lot of the alternative people walk around in new rocks. And I just like, yeah, I like them. Yeah. I would, I would have a wardrobe full of demonia, new rocks, iron fist. Not so much kill stark. I don't think they're as hard wearing. And I probably have like Doc Martens. I would have endless amount. And I've got pleaser shoes as well. So one day, guys, one day, I will do sections of shoes. I will do like my Iron Fist collection. Maybe I'll do like my pleaser shoes and my kind of, I don't know, bedroom shoes, whatever you want to call them. All right, guys, take care of yourself. Stay to the end. Have a look at these boots. See what you think they look like on. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Okay guys, so basically I've had to force myself in these. So I don't know why, because I haven't got bigger. I've got smaller, but they're quite tight. And it might because I have got thermal leggings on and they're quite thick. But as you can see, they buckle from the top all the way down and they have the zip as well. So they are quite secure. The only problem is the lace is not long enough to go out to the top. So I do need some new laces. Right, so I'm going to shut up and let you have a look.